Welcome to our first pallet unboxing in 2020. Or 2021, holy cow. Uh, 2020, the year that will not die. Um, so it's actually, it's actually New Year's Eve today. So I'm pulling back the curtain a little bit. Bought this yesterday, so that'd be the 30th. Today's the 31st. We're gonna call this the first one of 2021 though, because I won't release this video until probably second week of January or something like that. Uh, so this is the whole palette. This is every, absolutely everything that was on it. Um, we, it all didn't fit in our truck, in the, in the bed of our truck. So pulling back the curtain back a little further, uh, I did unbox one box outside at the facility where we buy this. It was raining, so I didn't record anything. I just wanted to get it done. And what I did was, it was a smaller box, maybe the size of this one. And I took all the soft goods and I put them in this garbage bag because then I could just shove it in there. And then the rest I kind of put in this box because uh, there was quite a bit of empty space near the top that I saw. And then this was also in that box. So I'll go through that stuff kind of first, but um, I didn't pay close attention when I was unboxing it, but just so you know, I did see it. Another thing to note is this is the first palette we ever bought where there was something on the pallet we were buying for ourselves. There's a large piece of furniture, and we'll get to that eventually, uh, that we wanted. Um, we might not keep it because it, you know, we don't really know what the color looks like in person. We also don't know it has some glass pieces, and if those are broken, uh, you know, that may or may not lead us to, to keep it. But the idea was we'll buy this, and hopefully the rest of the pallet uh, pays for itself, and then also this piece for us. Um, and we'll get to that. That's this box right here. So first off, we'll start with this guy. We've got a Monster Jam Megalodon Storm RC car. Um, we have to be really careful with this because these foam tires right here, that's something our, uh, our cat likes to eat, that kind of stuff. So we have to be, uh, we have to keep this stuff under lock and key. So as soon as we're done here, this will get locked up in the office where the cat isn't allowed. So um, I'm gonna, do you mind looking that up and then let me know what that is? Some of these items I'll have, I didn't see a number on that clearance sticker. We'll, uh, we'll try to get some numbers live as, as we're going here and uh, my lovely assistant slash wife slash uh, employer will <laughs> uh, will give you the numbers as we, as we go along. So I'll start with this bag. So again, we I just keep some of these garbage bags in the back of my truck at all times. Uh, they don't pack them like this on the pallet. So this is my doing and it was just to make everything fit. So we've got some underwear, boys, mediums, some more underwear. These are boys large. We've got more underwear. <laughs> I think this is a lot of underwear, more underwear. Um, underwear sold really well for us in our sale. Those are some baby pants. Uh, a little giraffe on the feet. Uh, more underwear. But underwear sold really well for us in our sale. Because uh, we were selling it for like a buck a piece. Um, you know, if it was a full set like this, we might get a few bucks out of it. What's crazy to me is how many people were buying it. Because everyone who was at our sale knew it was uh, new. So we'll hold on to all this stuff for our next sale. This is a child small white t shirt. Um, oh, some kind of women's sweater. Looks comfy. Yeah. See, retail on that was. Not on this tag. Cool. Uh, like my, shirt. Yeah, microfiber weighted blanket cover. So is this a cover for a weighted blanket? Yes. You insert your weighted blanket into this cover. It's not actually a weighted blanket. Um, another one of those. Oh, the pants to the sweater. Pants. It's a pajama set. Yeah. Uh, we've got one. Oh, we've got a few uh, Christmas earrings. Little H's with wreaths on them. Oh, they're they're broken. I see what happened there. They're supposed to be ho ho earrings. Okay, we've got uh, some Thanksgiving napkins. Quite honestly, we might just hold on to these and, and use them at non-Thanksgiving time. You know, random lunches. Here's some uh, boys boxer briefs. Little kids beanie. Some more boxer briefs. A lot of torn up packaging and some more boxer briefs some more underwear and then there's one uh piece of christmas ribbon 
that uh, it's supposed to be a bow, but it has been untied by somebody. It has been unbowed. Unbowed. <laughs> Alright, so just shove all this back in this bag and we'll move on to the next box. Do you want to hear about the monster truck? Yeah, what's the monster truck at? Monster truck is $49.99. Dang. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Damn. Dang. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, wow, that's awesome. And that thing looks like it's basically brand new. There's some package wear on it. Uh, I saw that it was a USB charge thing, so we can uh, check that it charges and uh, that it works, and then we're good. Right, I'm going to go with this box. So like I said, this is the box that I put the rest of the items that were with that bag in. So this box is a bit of a mix. And I've seen a couple of the items in here already, including... The mini waffle iron. Uh, my wife wants this. I don't know why we need it, because we have a waffle iron for regular size waffles. Because it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I imagine we'll probably get a lot of Christmas stuff on this pallet, because uh, again, it's New Year's Eve. We just hit Christmas time. Um, and here we are with some icicle lights, 200 icicle lights. Some of this stuff we can hold on to. We've got some uh, Playtex sport stuff. Surprise activity egg. This one's frozen too. Um, Ryan's World, same thing. Mystery eggs. Uh, safety first adhesive magnetic lock system. Just some like child protection stuff. Here's some more uh, Christmas lights, 100 mini lights, clear. Those packages seem new, which is nice. Here's another mystery egg. I just saw something exciting. Last time I found one of these, it was kind of disappointing. Oh, this is neat. So this is the kind of stuff we might hold on to even for like a year, because our, our daughters love Frozen. Um, and we could hold on to this till birthday, or even Christmas next year, or just like maybe a nice like, hey, here's something to do on a Sunday afternoon. But it's just a big drawing pad for, and it's Frozen themed. Another safety first uh, magnetic lock system. Keep kids out of your cabinets. Okay, we've got some uh, curtains. I think I mentioned this in my last unboxing video. We uh, we don't sell too many of the curtains, um, but we do have two of the same here, which is nice. I wonder if these are longer. If these are longer panels, 108 inches long. That's good. We, long, yeah. we actually we have large windows in our house, and not all the windows have curtains yet, so we might just do those. There's some more curtains, two of the same. Yeah. Boho. Yep. Uh, we've got one of those cubbies that go, or boxes that go in like a little cubby. Does it have the piece that goes in the bottom? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, okay. right Good. there. So, there's that. Got some, it's a dog <laughs> dinosaur Christmas pajama set or something? Yep. Pet pajamas. Pet pajamas. It's got a little butt flap. <laughs> That's cute. We don't have a dog. Otherwise. Yet. Yet. Maybe never. <laughs> I love dogs. We want a dog. It's just we've got three kids and I have a career. My wife has this career, the reselling career and we have a cat that eats everything and whatever. We've got some like yoga pants or sweatpants or whatever. Women's. So why not add more chaos? Right. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't, I don't want... Uh, it's a little desk sign says runs on coffee. Um, I know it says runs on coffee because it says runs on coffee there. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We've got a freaking awesome Lego <laughs> Friends rescue boat. I wanted to say party boat, but it says rescue on the side for uh, booze cruising. Look at that. That's awesome. It is open. The last time we got a Lego set. Uh, a, a decent sized Lego set in one of these pallets. I opened it up, we were missing most of the characters. They were in zip, the Legos were in Ziploc bags. So let's see. That was such a bad pallet. That it pallet, was so that was our worst pallet yeah. ever. I have high hopes for this pallet, just seeing some of the large items as we brought them into the house here, uh, including the item we're keeping, hopefully. Uh, all these smalls though are a surprise. This is, I did not see this. This wasn't in the box that I threw into this box. Um, that's in the original wrapping, so we can actually just check and make sure we've got all the sealed bags. 
Um, and the instructions are still wrapped in here, so there's a good chance that maybe this box was just popped open. And uh, we love Legos in this house. We got three little girls. They like Lego friends. This is a huge set. I mean, this is probably like a... I'll have you look this up, but I bet yeah. there's no way this isn't a $60 set. Yeah, we see that one. All right, moving on. We've got a pillow sham. We've got just a knit sweater. Looks like it's been eaten by moths. It, that's how it was designed, but it looks like just holy. Ooh, hubba bubba bubble tape. Oh, it's 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 open, but it's uh, clearly never been used. Mm, that's garbage. <laughs> We'll throw that away. Um, these are some more curtains, those kinds. Uh, more pet pajamas. Oh man, and it's all the, we have so many Christmas pet pajamas like stored up till next year. Here's another pillow sham. Oh, what Iggy and B are getting. Oh yeah, and my aunts have two little dogs, so they'll definitely be <laughs> rocking some Christmas sweaters. Here's a shower curtain. That's kind of a nice one, we need a new. Yeah. Shower curtain. Can't keep everything, but we'll keep what we can. Ooh. Infinipro by Con Air. So this is just obviously not in the box, but we can test it and see if it works. Um, stuff like that might sell just used online. Okay. Good night. Uh, underwear, you know, for potty training or whatever. And it's actually what's in the box. The last time I got these, and we were so excited because we, we have a child, we're still trying to potty train. And uh, you know, I had a couple weeks off around the holidays this year, and I was going to use those that we got in the pet lap, in one of the pallets to potty train our youngest. I opened it up. They're all diapers. Someone like, must have had a bunch of leftover diapers, and they were transitioning to pull-ups. They bought the pull-ups, filled it with diapers. So, I mean, we, we're using the diapers. Black dose... Yeah, these are, these are the actual thing. That's good. So, um, you know what? I'm not above putting my daughter in this, in Spider-Man. Who cares? <laughs> okay, huh. more pet coats. Um, we've got a bra. It feels like it's like a nursing bra or something. I think it's just a regular bra. Um, we've got Christmas PJs, Peppa Pig, we've got one swimsuit. No, oh my no. god, our last video, so many swimsuits. No but more. Only one, I don't think there's any more down in there. Absolutely. If that's the only swimsuit we got, sweet. I have swimsuit PTSD in yeah. the last ballot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no joke. Okay, some moccasins, some little kid moccasins. Those might fit one of our kids. Actually, I bet those are in between, aren't they? They're in between our oldest and second. Almost everything is. Yeah. Um, some Cat and Jack polka dot uh, glittery pants. Last couple items here. A couple gingerbread house kits. Um, <laughs> There's no way that's not crumbs. <laughs> no, yeah, th these are, so these will go in the garbage. What we'll do is we'll actually take the gingerbread out and I'll feed those to my chickens as a nice little treat. Um, all the candy and frosting and stuff will just go in the garbage. Last couple items here. We've got a uh, USB-C charging cable. You know, these sell in sales for us pretty well, a couple bucks. And then some command strips with the with the hooks. So we might keep those for personal use, um, you know, or sell them for a dollar. And there's one final item in here. We got a, oh, that's a cute Christmas one. star tree topper, and that is a cute one. That's a nice one, yeah. It's got a clip, like a like a. That's how the other one was too, the angel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So. We just missed Christmas. Not all this stuff is going to sell uh, anytime soon, but you know, we'll store it. We can throw it up in the attic or whatever uh, until next year. And, and some of the stuff you can even like list online. It, it, it might sell sometime over the next 12 months. If you've got the, the capacity to list it, like you might as well list it and see what happens. So I'm going to clean this up. We'll stop recording and then I'll uh, get Hang the Hang on, next. you want Lego set? Oh yeah, Lego set. What's that Lego set run? $90. $90 Lego set! <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that is exciting. I hope I hope all the pieces are there because uh, that is going to be a sweet treat.
for our daughters. Uh, although, $90, maybe we sell one. I don't know. All right, so we'll stop rolling. I'll clean all this up, and uh, we'll get back to you with the next box. Okay, uh, we'll get this box. And this, just because it's on top. This is a uh, champagne flatware set. So, you know, champagne colored. It looks like almost dirty because it's like kind of like greenish gold. Did you look up the price? Because this one was just loose on the palette. Did we look this one up last night? Uh, yeah, loading? $35. On 35 bucks on that, which we won't sell for $35. You know, we typically shoot for half a retail uh, when we sell this stuff. Um, so, yeah. Almost $20 there. I like this box. I don't know what's in this box. It's a complete, complete and total mystery. I might not like this box. <laughs> Seems to maybe be, ooh, I see some toys maybe. Oh, that's cool. It's um, Christmas PJs, but it's got like rhinos and leopards and zebras and all in Christmas hats. Uh, African themed set. Okay, a couple um, iPhone 11 Pro uh, cases. They're not in the box, but they look new. We've got some Lego noise, but sorry, I the Legos. These are AirPods Pro like Apple AirPods Pro. So I don't know if these are, are these real? <laughs> As AirPods Pro were uh, super expensive. Let me see the box. Oh my God, they're in there. Now I just gotta figure out if they work. Let me see the box. Uh, I think those are like hundreds. I need the bottom. I think these are hundreds of dollars. Like, I don't think there's a barcode on that. Okay, okay. That's um, holy cow! If these are actual AirPods Pro, that's a... I mean, this might be the score of the year. First video of the year. Yeah, what do those run? Those are expensive. Okay, if... If they work... They, they're gonna work. And they're gonna if work. they're real... They'll work. $250. $250! Look at that! Okay, that probably won't be the, the biggest hit of the year, but... Holy... Those are, those are nice. Top. It's, it's up there. Right, those are going to be... I have... How much some, did we pay for this palette? What did we pay for this palette? This was 508. 508. 508 with tax. With tax. Plus, you know, I, I've said this before, where we buy these is a few hours away. So go ahead and drop them. <laughs> Great. Uh, where, where we buy these is a few hour drive for us. Uh, we take the kids. We got to buy lunch and all that stuff. So we, we calculate about $100 uh, per trip. The goal is to get eventually move to where we can get more pallets per trip, whether we rent a trailer there and bring it back, which is we've done before, as you saw in the last two videos, last two pallet unboxing videos. Uh, eventually, we want to buy our own trailer and then just take it there, buy four or five at a time. So we've got a nude bra. Uh, I'm, this is, I think, this is a robe, a couple different robes, Christmas robes. We'll call it another Christmas robe. AirPods Pro! Holy cow! AirPods are one of those things where I just, I always look at them and I'm like, those are so nice. I love Apple products and I always think, I'll never own those because you can buy cheap wireless headphones off Amazon for like 20 bucks. I mean, you saw my mystery, uh, if you watch my electronics mystery box unboxing, which I'll put a link up there, uh, you know, you can get cheap Amazon headphones for like 10, 20 bucks and, and they're fine. The, the quality's really good. Uh, so here's some cheap Target branded earbuds. Um, this is a My Baby noise machine out of the box. We do have the instructions here, which is nice. Uh, that's some packaging for those Christmas pajamas. Another, I'm assuming that's for the brawl. And finally, we've got another thing that might, we might need to keep from our kids. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh no. Uh, these are thank you cards for, I think, a teacher. Another bra strap. Holy cow. This thing is uh, used 
all the pieces are in here. This might be a hard sell. What? Our youngest loves this show. We gotta keep quit Absolutely keeping stuff. Absolutely addicted to it. Yeah, yeah, but I mean that's an easy. Piece. I know. It, it, honestly, if most of the pieces aren't there, it's something we could easily keep around here and then just pitch in a little while as she loses interest. So Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Looks like maybe a lot of pieces are broken and missing. So I will pack this one up and then we'll grab the next box. Is the missus is looking at AirPods Pro over there? <laughs> Holy cow. AirPods Pro. That's insane. Those are brand new. Why would they be in here? What, we got that Xbox controller that one time, you know? It's like, why is anything in any of these? Okay, uh, let's go with this box right here. This one's already opened. You're gonna have to cut, like, fully test these. Yeah. Like, no... No, no, no screwing around. No we'll turning test on and no, it's, it's okay. good, you know? All right, next palette here. This is a uh, sleep sack, Halo sleep sack for a baby. Those things sell really well for us. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> ah, I have People cute sneezes. Love to find ways to get their babies to sleep because that is true. <laughs> it's a rough phase. Okay, if it wasn't for the AirPod, AirPods Pro, I would be calling this the pet pajama palette because like. <laughs> That is, that is insane. So cute. So many, okay, so we got some uh, little girl pants. Those might actually fit one of our kids. Um, got some glasses here. Just like, ah, these are prescription glasses. <laughs> My guess is <laughs> these just fell off someone's face into this box. Check those out. Are those your prescription? I don't wear glasses. I highly doubt they are. <laughs> this is like, they're like bent too. Yeah. This is like those the Target employee. Old. Yeah. Hey, this is awesome. Uh, this is a Kenner toy, which Kenner made the original Star Wars toys like back in the what, 70s, I guess. Um, but it's for the Mandalorian. It's uh, Cara Dune or Dunn. I can't remember how they pronounce that on the show. We just finished season two. I won't give any spoilers away, but it was a... Uh, Great, great television. Um, that is that is really cool that they're still doing that. I, I think that's actually a little bigger than the original figure, so. So, there's that. Got some garland. We just put all our Christmas decorations away this morning, so that was get thrown in storage till next, we can sell it next year. Little uh, Minnie Mouse onesie. Guess what it is, pet pajamas. And uh, guess what it is? Oh no, this is for a little little kid, sleeveless bear oh vest. My goodness, that's cute. cute. Okay, um, it's a B is like, uh, I forget. It's 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 a Target. I don't think it's Target brand, but it's I think it's sold exclusively at Target. This is like a doctor's kit. It's a kid toy. Yeah, they have something with their branding where they're like um, like recycled. Like environmentally friendly production, I think. Some Garland. And then uh, gallon storage bags. Stuff like this I call consumables, um, which is an industry term from, from the industry I work in. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that you just count on keeping. So gallon Ziploc bags or, or storage bags because they're not actually Ziploc branded. You know, we'll, we'll burn through these before we find another box and another pallet, most likely, and we'll just hold on to them. 15 bags. There are. Saves us a couple bucks. And uh, yeah, so pack all this up and we'll move on to the next box. But this palette is fantastic so far. My voice just cracked. Um, 30 year old, 32 year old man going through puberty again, apparently. But I'm so excited for the AirPods. <laughs> Dr. Kit, Dr. Hmm. Office. <laughs> all right. I'm getting hints for what I should do next. This is, and we because we we looked this one up because it's just a big item. Uh, this is a Melissa and Doug doctor's play set, and I'll put some pictures up or whatever uh, covering it here. Um, it, it's like something you would find in a doctor's office for kids to play on. Like it's like this large like wooden. Set. I feel like it's something you would find at like um, like a children's museum or like a play. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember what the the cost on this one was? I think I scanned it. Let me see. I'll send it over there to get scanned. 
All right, next box. Well, well, well. How Maybe. much is Melissa and Doug? Uh, that thing's probably a couple hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Look at that. <clears throat> Alright. Got a little dress. This one looks like it's mostly clothes, if not all clothes. A little shirt. Little skirt. Or dress. Little dress. These are all little kids' clothes. Same dress. Shirt. Shirt. I'm just gonna Good dig through stuff, here. Though. Yeah. 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 So. Bunch of uh, kids' clothes. Got some Oshkosh, Bagosh stuff, which I didn't know they sold at Target. So, yes, they do. They do. Mm -hmm. I'm being told. All right. So that's all just children's clothes. Uh, let's go through a couple of these big items. So I've got a uh, Nate Burkus comforter. We've got a couple uh, either the exact same or similar. And these white things, they just do not sell. Where I think we're holding on, I don't think we've sold a single one of them yet. Not we even at our sale and we sold them for like a couple bucks. Two white <clears throat> comforters. Yeah. So. Currently. That is whatever. It's also got a little stain from my pickup. Uh, we've got this leopard opal house five piece bedding set. That one's cool. Leopard, not leather. Leopard. Animal print, yeah. Animal print. Um, you want to check that out and tell me how Just much that is? There's no scan the barcode. The arm enters the scene and then... $69.99. $69.99. We use the Target it's app. It's king size. Nice. King size. We use the Target app to figure out a lot of these prices because everything's sold at Target, so you can scan the barcode. Boom. Price is found. All right. This is a Jonathan Y... I don't know. Oh, it's a table lamp. So it says it was $79.99. This is sealed, so I probably won't open it. It was shipped to somebody whose address was already conveniently blacked out by the private person returning. So yeah, the uh here, no turn it was on the other side. No and results on the target app. It was marked down to $54.59. What's weird is it says it was you know, this is a limited run of whatever this lamp. So it's 189 of 250. So I'll look it up and I'll show you a picture of it. Um, I won't unopen this because, although it's not factory sealed, probably should open it. Yeah, we'll open it and check it, make sure it's not broken. I'm gonna push that over there and get it out of the way. I'm not familiar with this brand. Me either. All right, I'll do the big item here, um, and I'll, I'll show some pictures and stuff and, and video of this, and maybe I'll even show it fully assembled. We're looking to replace our TV console. Uh, the one we have on it on right now, some guy built in shop class in like the 60s, and I picked it up at a yard sale for a couple bucks. Where his mom was selling it. Yeah, his, <laughs> his very elderly mother was selling it. Uh, so, it's just time to get replaced. We, we want something a little nicer in the living room. I actually plan on moving that, keeping it, and moving it up to my uh, office upstairs, and put it, keeping a small TV up there. But that's what we got. We got a uh, uh, stone gray little hutch. So it's got glass doors. We'll check and make sure the glass doors are not broken. And uh, if it looks good, if we like the aesthetics of it, we will throw it here in our living room, keep our TV on it, and uh, whatever. If not, what did this retail for? It was like... I want to say it, it was, was like, 320 We want to say it was $320. We'll double check that price. Let me pull it up because I know I scanned that because I want that one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so if... If we don't keep it, we can sell this for big money. So that's uh, that's good. Assuming the glass doors are broken. 320. 320. 320. So, all right. Next box. Oh, that's a lot of Christmas. All right. Um, <laughs> the brand is just wireless, but you would definitely need a wire to use this. But it's uh, just a car charger. Got a whole bunch of uh, Christmas ornaments, red and gold. Whole bunch of oh, these are empty. Oh, look at that. These are empty, but they're all in this bag. <laughs> so uh, there's all those lights. Interesting. And then we've actually got a couple uh, AirPod cases. These won't fit the AirPod Pros that we just got because they have a slightly different also, case. Like, they're not uh, in their they boxes. Actually, we had one of those before in another palette, and they had it. They have a box. Yeah, this is actually the top of the package. Yeah, so hot. 
whatever. Um, like a dollar bin at the sale. Exactly, yeah. So um, we'll check and actually see if all those lights work. If they work, I, I probably won't repackage them in these boxes. Uh, I'll probably either keep them or just we'll sell them in a year, almost a year. Um, let's do another big ticket item. This one's fun. We don't know if it works. Oh, we got a Razor scooter, battery powered. It is, uh, it's been opened. Let's open it up. Uh, I'm assuming it was a return. And uh, the customer tape it back shut. $120 for this scooter. $120 for this scooter. And ooh, it's cracked. <sighs> so what's funny is like that is like still wrapped up the factory. So I wonder if this actually just got dropped mm -hmm. in the box is my best guess. Let's make sure to pull it out. So kind of the damage. It's right here. Hmm. Um, yeah. You know, and what that's just the case, the, the top board actually. That actually might be even replaceable. Um, but as long as like the battery and stuff's not damaged, that might that might still work. And if it still works, you know, we could sell it obviously not for retail, but we might be able to get 40, 50 bucks for that even with the damage. Um, especially because we can probably push that back down in there. It looks like a plate that just screws off, so I wonder if we can contact yeah. the manufacturer. And... Yeah, I mean, it's Razor, they're big time, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully hurt. that works. I'll uh, let you know. 20 bucks, you know, if you can get a replacement part at the right price. Yeah, for 20, if you can spend 20 bucks to get a new deck, top deck for that, yeah. then heck yeah. I don't see any other damage, you know, underneath. I mean, that's popped out a little bit, but that just went right back in. Huh. So we'll find out. Yeah, so a lot of times with these things, yeah, it's worth, even if it, it costs you money, like 20 bucks to reinvest. And then if I could turn around and sell this for hundred bucks with that new piece on it, you know, my cost on this, my cost per item on these pallets, you know, we don't actually figure it out per item, but we kind of always estimate that it's around $2 an item, um, including for big ticket items, so. This one might be a little more because we have more big ticket we items. We do have more big ticket items, yeah. but there was still a lot yeah. in there. Um, and that's just the best guess. You know, we don't, there's no point in actually trying to figure it out per little item. Um, we mostly just kind of hit, the, once we hit the milestone of profitability, then we call it good on this stuff. Um, let's try this big box. You know what? I'm gonna keep it on the floor. <laughs> okay, new box, new box. Ooh, right on the top. Got a Super Mario set. Uh, my kid just got a Switch for Christmas. Good old Santa Claus brought for him. They've been loving some Mario games. So we got a nice little Super Mario playset. I don't know. Hold that one up. The barcode's on the bottom. Uh, it is open, and it's a lot of like large plastic pieces, so we'll check and make sure everything's there before I put it together, and we'll sew that. Got some Mitchum for I didn't know Mitchum made. Mitchum is like one of those like manly deodorants. Uh, Mitchum, women's Mitchum deodorant. 200 more icicle lights. Got a fa -la 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 Christmas blanket. I'm drop this stuff. It's an ornament, I think. No? It's it's a glass dog, but I don't, I don't see where you'd attach like the hook for an ornament. But yeah, it's a weird one. It's a little Christmas decoration. It's weird. Oh man, this is this is funny. Uh, it's a sauna FX women's neoprene sauna vest. Um, my mom got one of these for my brother, not women's obviously, but uh, he didn't want it, and she tried to give it to me, and I was like, I also do not do not want that. <laughs> see what that runs. About 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Okay, we've got a tablecloth here. Set the perfect table. Um, some stay free pads. You know, stuff like this actually will sell. You know, as long, I mean, it's open, but it looks like it's still brand new, and we'll sell it in the local sale. Uh, and if not, something like that, we can donate to. Uh, there's a food pantry nearby or a women's shelter or something. So that always finds a good home. Um, Double XL black V-neck t-shirts for men. Got some blackout curtains, some black blackout curtains here. 
two panels. Um, hair wraps. Christmas hair wraps. But that just looks like a washcloth that's inside of it. That's interesting. Oh. Uh, body pillow. Sweet. We don't need any more body pillows. We'll sell that. Uh, this is peel and stick wallpaper. But no packaging though. More peel and stick wallpaper, same kind. So at least we've got a lot of it. Forest, a tree. Um, these are uh, coconut Venus uh, razor heads, six count. Stuff like this, you'd be surprised, might actually sell online, mm -hmm. not just in a local sale. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those mystery eggs. Um, oh, with slime in it. Uh, so <laughs> that's why it's in this. There's actually like a toy though. Oh, and it's just covered. <laughs> Somebody in, was just like, no. Nope. Just covered yeah. in slime. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a... That's that, a big note for me. That will go straight yeah. into our garbage can. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that off camera. Um, apparently there's some pillowcases in here. I think this goes to this. Is that all together? Nice. Okay, a little uh, soap dispenser. Hey, this is Wednesday. Say hi, Wednesday. Um, I can't get that thread, the thread correctly, but a little soap dispenser. Uh, these are stocking holders. Put them on your mantle and hang a stocking off. For the minimalist. For the minimalist, yeah. Uh, we've got a slightly used candle. Warm cider and cinnamon. Mm. We'll, uh, we'll light that and have some fragrance at home. Here's the lid. Uh, close, close. Oh, no way. <laughs> All right. What size is this? It's a medium. Women's medium, yeah. It's a, is it a women's? It's gotta be women's. It's so too tall to be a kid's. Oh, that might be a men's. Oh my god, there's a light switch inside. Does it turn on? It right. says, I think it says light me. <laughs> where do you, where do you turn that? Hello? Oh, there it is. Oh, please work. On. Oh! <laughs> it's gotta be a women's medium. Yeah, I think you're right. What a bummer. I would, I would be wearing this in the video if I thought it would fit me at all. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. You don't get the. You don't get that. Uh, let's pull out some more. So some Christmas clothes. That's another pet thing. Uh, yeah. Do you want one on top? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, these are probably those pillowcases that I found the packaging for. Um, here's another consumable glass cleaner. Spray away. <laughs> so I mean, we'll use that. We got windows. <laughs> uh, more clothes. It's all Christmas themed, so we'll probably be holding on to that stuff for a long time. Um, so there's some kind of bathroom tray. It's uh, the paint, the finish is chipped off of that, so it's probably not worth any day. Got some underwear. Got some Lindor chocolates, so that'll be a consumable, even though we have so much freaking candy in our so house right now. A uh, couple, uh, we've got a mask. We actually already have this mask. Uh, it's open, so we'll wash it and just keep that one. And then I've got a bunch of these. Those marshmallows? Yeah, so they're stir sticks for like your coffee. They're white chocolate and marshmallows, where you put in your hot chocolate. That's probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hot chocolate or coffee, either one. Um, these are probably, I'd imagine these are all good, so we'll probably just keep these. You can't delay them. Yeah, a little treat for the children. And, uh, the rest of this is just, just garbage. Oh, wait a minute, what was that? What was that? Four formaldehyde. Maybe don't touch uh, you that. Can see that? It says four formaldehyde. It's just a little wooden disc. Four formaldehyde. Four formaldehyde. So weird. Mm -hmm. ah, 
we'll, uh, we'll pause here. I'll tear everything down, and then we'll get to the next box. I've got this much left. I'm going to set this here so we can go through this box. Classic just randomness. These are a couple markers. Oh, these are cool. I might keep these for next year if I didn't just they're break them. Uh, oh, they're just cool. like staked, like bulb lights for your sidewalk. These are just like uh, like gel paint markers or something. Put those there. Got a lamp and it's shade. It's a little dinged up. We could maybe spray paint that and give it a new life. Obviously, we'll need to replace the lampshade that's completely uh, riggedy wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a shoebox. It does have shoes. At least. There's some big old boots. A new day. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's a legitimately thing. At least it's the season. You know, it'll be cold for a few more months, so... I don't know if you want to check those out. But some boots. We do well with that kind of stuff locally. Uh, we've got a mildly popular Facebook page now, and uh, people like it. These are some solar-powered string lights. Uh, Christmas lights. Uh, boots are originally $40. Boots are originally $40. Did I not just say last night, as I, I was getting rid of some batteries from a Christmas decoration for storage, I said, we need to find some more D batteries on a pallet. I'm looking at my wife, who didn't believe me that we'd ever find D batteries on a pallet, but here we I go. I said, why would batteries be on a pallet? Why would AirPods be on a pallet? I don't know. <laughs> There's four D batteries. So we'll keep those. Got a little uh, hair pop pop surprise. Whatever that is, surprise pets. It's a brush, Katie. Yeah, I know it's a brush, but it's got like something in it. Mm. Um, here's some uh, extra small boys tank tops. Here we got some uh, frozen pencils. Again, that's something we can just hold on to. Make a Christmas gift extra special. Um, Contigo leak proof water bottle. These actually, I think all these sold pretty well at our local sale. sale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Oh, a couple of these. I don't know what these are. Oh, it's a match game. Like a non, like a generic matching game. Oh, I think that's from that, like, um... The front section at yeah. Target there? Yeah, probably. Got more pet pajamas. More masks open, so those are our masks now. Uh, we've got some pants or something for some kids. One loose sock. Lovely garbage. Couple of uh, light bulbs, soft white. These are just standard bulbs. So I'll, I mean, I'll try to sell these. I don't hear the filament ra rattling around in there. So we'll just try to sell these locally in like a sale. I prefer LED. Keep my uh, bulbs lasting forever. And here's another one of these. Uh, craft kit. So apparently these go to a stocking, but we don't have the stocking. We just have the marker. So I wonder if these are like fabric. Fabric. Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, here's some eyeliner. Ooh, children's organic and mucus cough syrup. Mm -hmm. So if this is uh, new, that'll probably be another thing oh, we just hold on to. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, finally, some more little boys tank tops. And that's, that's that nut box. So I'll pack all this up and we'll get on to the next one. Yeah. Another little mystery box. Ooh, right off the top, we've got some uh, WW Elite toy. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't follow wrestling at all. Wendy Richter. 
Um, judging by the photo on the back, that's definitely an older wrestler. Some of these items can be super collectible. Like I said, I don't follow wrestling, so I don't know her from Eve, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Got, ooh, C-section undies. So there's a possibility these are open. We'll have to see if these are used. If they are used, there's a potential they're pretty gross. Um, but something like this, because it's a specialty item, I mean, that, that could have some online resale value. I'll, uh, I'll let you check those, both those items out, actually. <laughs> okay. Pandemic, the board game. <laughs> that, what an awful, what, awful when, game to yeah, exist. When you don't have enough pandemic in real life. Yeah, okay, this is open. Um, I'll have to look and see if all the pieces are there. They're all in little Ziploc bags. It looks like it's like the cards have been opened, which is a little bit... That makes me nervous, because that could mean someone bought this because they had, they were missing cards or had destroyed some cards, and so they just bought it, took out what they needed, and then returned it. Um, but, you know, there's a list on everything that should be in the box in here, so we'll check it out, see if everything's there, decide whether or not we want to play it, or sell it. Most likely, I think we'll sell Pandemic the Board Game. Gingerbread scented candle. Ow. I had to stab myself with a piece of glass. I did not realize it was cracked there. So uh. that'll uh, honestly probably just be thrown away because that's wax right there. So we can't really burn it unless you set it. I guess you could set it in another container and burn it. Um, you have... So I cannot find that wrestling doll. Okay. Um, but the C-section underwear are uh, 60 dollars. 60 bucks. So hopefully we'll they're, to, they're good. Yeah, we'll pull them out and check later, make sure they're clean. There's a whole thing of liquid hand soap. It's been leaking. That's why they got it in a Ziploc bag. But I mean, the vast majority of the soap's in there and the soap's good. So, you know, we might keep that. Although we'd like something a little gentler on the skin. There's a little sham for above your window. Holy crap. These are some big lollies. Uh, I Do will, not let our kids see I will them. not let our children see this. I will just throw them away or donate them or something. We'll um, find a home for them. These have two busted fasteners. Uh, My guess is somebody tried to put it on. It went pop, pop, pop. That someone was probably still pregnant and knew they were maybe going to have a C-section. And tried to prepare. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, we've got one earring, so that's just garbage. And uh, the rest of just some packaging and stuff. So that's an empty box. So, here we go. Oh. I think this one's going to be clothing. Still only found one swimsuit. Only found one swimsuit. Some universal thread pants. The capris, it looks like. You know, this Target clothing really does sell well for us. I mean, it's not like we are going to get rich off selling it, but, like, we get... We, we make good profit off of it. Well, and it's nice so kids to... Sleepers. Like, you know... Let's people get a deal on kids' clothes because kids' clothes can get so pricey and... Yeah. They grind so fast. Here's, a, like, a diffuser. Essential oil fan diffuser. Looks like I've got another one in here. Uh... This is a weighted blanket. Hey, we got a weighted yes, blanket cover. We have a weighted blanket cover. I've actually never held a weighted blanket. I know they come. Why would you want this? So, it's supposed to be like super comforting. And it helps like people have like anxiety and stuff like that, or if you have like a restless leg syndrome, like kind of thing, or you don't sleep well. Um, but I know they come in different weights. So that one says twelve pounds. I don't know what that means. I don't know how much. You're supposed to have a certain amount of weight for different things. So, I don't know what 12 pounds seems like a lot. 12 pound weighted blanket. Um, yeah. well, I just saw Harry Tornado on YouTube actually just bought a 20 pound weighted blanket. Oh, for okay, so maybe 12 isn't. Because he was looking for one, yeah, so. maybe 12 isn't a lot. There's a cheap little drummer snowman ornament that's actually missing a drumstick. My cat's trying to get back into the playroom where her cat tree is. There you go, baby. <laughs> you guys are seeing every corner of my house as I move along. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I saw the kittens. Oh. Just running across the yard. Um, okay, getting to the bottom of this. We've got a snap bracelet of a sweet, sweet dinosaur. So, 
that'll definitely be something that my kids just we'll get. Torture each other with. Yep. Yeah. We've got a million things like this laying around. Um, oh, Minnie Mouse water, like bathtub color changing tablets. In case you're interested in staining your tub. A uh, little fox baby thing. We've got some uh, some kind of weird sweater. And then uh, Yahtzee! Yeah. Sealed in the box. I don't, we might not have Yahtzee. I don't even know if I know how to play Yahtzee. Yahtzee's a great game, and, and all of our kids can play it. Um, some earrings. It actually looks like they're both there for once. $20 originally, so that's neat. And then um, a bunch of these fox ornaments, which is funny because actually my daughter's all got this exact ornament from my aunt for Christmas. Uh, and all of that the, one's cracked in half. Every single one of these is broken. Yeah. So these are all garbage. Um, this one's not a fox. This one's a, a. This one's not a fox. It's a. I think it's a bear. It's a bear. So. Might be able to take the pain out of it, put it in the kids' like. Right. Know. Yeah. We did like it twenty-five dollars. Nice. So, we'll throw all this back in there. This palette has been fantastic. Alright, we've got, I think this is a mystery box. It is labeled our generation, um, but this is all furniture, so I'll just kind of go through these. We have two of these stools. I think we looked these up yesterday. Um, ooh. <laughs> My foot just missed that. <laughs> oh, that's the glass doors too, so hopefully those are okay. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. Look at this. The weighted blanket's fault. It probably is a stupid weighted blanket, so I'll put this over there. Did we look these up? I can't remember. Let me scan them again. Okay. As we brought some of the items in last night, Slide over. Uh, some of the larger items, we looked them up ahead of time. So 60 bucks. 60 bucks. We have two of these. Again, $60 retail. We yes. shoot for half a retail. And some items like this, since this is open, I'll probably. And, and the other one's open as well. I'll pull both of these out of the box and assemble them most likely, and then we'll try to sell them assembled. Uh, which, when you're going about half a retail, assembled is actually a value add. Uh, if you're selling something brand new for like closer to full price, don't assemble it, uh, and then you can sell it as new. But if you're selling it like half retail, uh, and, and you assemble it, again, it's, it's a value add. So you're saving someone some time and some money. That way. So, Got another stool here, same one. And then we've got these three stools, and they're the same, it's a different brand, same uh, form factor or style or whatever. And what did we say these ones were running at? These ones we actually had to, I don't think a scan for it. I think I... There's a barcode there. It's a 29 inch black bar stool. So those last ones are brown. These, these ones are, are 68. 68 bucks. So again, 30 to $40, we'll sell them for locally. And we've got three of these and all three are brand new in the box. Last box. Um, like I said, this is in our generation box, but I think it's just another mix, mystery box. Like, you know, the ones that say Sterilite aren't the Sterilite Rotomate totes. definitely a random assortment here so just a big uh it's uh snake. captain america sweater from uh knives out chris evans is it snagged oh yeah a little snag there sometimes you can pull that back in pull it back in or just cut it off mm, you shouldn't cut it off ah we'll do whatever we want <laughs> to make a hole um here's a lamp that is pretty badly cracked that's the second one of well, those lamps. The one, the, it was the same style, but it didn't have all this stuff yeah, at the but bottom. it was also cracked. Yeah. My daughter has one, like I said, same color, but... You do not see the hold up. Different ball. base. Um, here's... It's a $30 pillow. One-piece comforter set for a toddler bed. Any of our kids need a new comforter? Virginia. Ooh, well, here's another. No. <laughs> they could be matching. Hmm? Um, we've got more Christmas time pajamas, and yes, if, in case you were wondering, those are for a pet. A <laughs> uh, whole bunch of little jewelry sets. 
So again, you know, so like this one is missing uh, the top earring there. So it's useless to target for, for us. You know, we can sell this as two full sets. Same thing here, you know, instead of uh, eight sets, we've got seven. These kind of things did pretty well in our sale. Yeah, exactly. Because someone will look at that and say, yeah, that's worth a couple bucks or a dollar like or whatever. five dollars depending mm -hmm. on. You know, with stuff like necklaces, we need to, like this is all tangled, but we need to make sure they're not broken. I mean, if they're broken, they're garbage. Or if it's just a single set of earrings and you're missing one, it's garbage. This is actually a, a C necklace and then some barrettes. got some uh, baby headbands and a towel. Do I keep that? Good dish towel there. Is this another weighted blanket? <laughs> so it's definitely a blanket. It's heavy. It's just a quilt. Yeah. So, green quilt. No packaging. No packaging. And there's none in the box. <laughs> Alright, last couple items, guys. This is it. We've got a funnel. Funnel set. Looks like a food funnel. Um, oh, it's for uh, canning. Mm -hmm. Or no, it's not just for canning. It could be anything, but yeah, it's for it's food. It's for food, yeah. It's got a strainer and two different funnels. We might keep this. I don't think we have a funnel set. We do not have a um, Here's a necklace. Oh, the letter A. My last name starts with the letter A. Do you want a necklace with your last name's first letter on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> And last item, we've got some moose, a moose beanie. It's still cold. It's going to be cold for a few more months, so stuff like this can still sell for us. And uh, that's it. This palette was fantastic. Um, I know you were putting together some numbers. Did you have any kind of like... Yeah, so just on the big items, the ones that you had me... So things like the, the hutch, the AirPods, the... I did not put the hutch in. Uh, we did not put the hutch in. Okay, so, because we might keep it. Cause but the scooter, the, the Melissa and Doug doctor set, the, the stools, are the stools in there? Yep. The stools, you know, bigger items, what, what have we got? Yeah, that? and I think you had me look up, um, we're at about $1,300. Okay, and that's retail that's price. That's retail. So, $1,300 retail. We aim for 50% of retail for what we sell things for. Now some as things- As a conservative. As a conservative estimate. amount. Some, sometimes items will go more, will go 70, 80% depending yeah. on the item. And some items, like th those AirPods, we're gonna sell those for damn near retail price. Uh, but other items like the scooter or maybe even the Melissa and Doug said, we might go towards more towards that 50%. But it, 50 is kind of our minimum. We wanna hit that. Um, so $1,300, we're looking at uh, 650 which is $150 more than what we paid for the pallet. Um, you know, we want to shoot for double our return on investment, which with all these other items the, that are going to sell for anywhere between, you know, one and $25, I mean, we're going to, we're going to hit that And remember, this easy. isn't a traditional pallet for us because, we you know, keep this. We're, we're keeping a $300 item. Right. So yeah, if, we yeah. wanted if we decided to put this together and sell it and again that's another item we'd sell for pretty close to retail uh maybe like 75 80 percent of retail um we'd get real close to doubling our money just off that so but adding that to the top of the pile without going through all this small stuff so excellent palette felt so great about this palette uh this might be our best one it's up there it's, if it's not the best, it's it's one of the best. It's top two, three. Yeah. So um, that first palette we got was with the breast pump was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, home run. And, and again, we bought this one for ourselves. Everything else was just kind of gravy. Uh, so hopefully that hutch works out. Lots of great items on here. We'll sell them. Stay tuned for uh, future palette unboxings um you know other, other stuff we bought mystery boxes and stuff like that please like comment subscribe do all the fun stuff uh you know i just do this for fun so it's just uh you know we we this is my wife's business reselling all this stuff um that's not f i mean it's fun but it's not uh, the only purpose of it you know it's to make money but these videos are just for fun and i really appreciate the comments and support that i get so thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time Okay, here's the moment of truth on this hutch. Everything was packaged really nice. Everything so seemed to be factory packaged, but here's the glass doors. There's two of them. So 
That glass looks safe. That glass is safe. No cracks there. That's awesome. Let's put that to the side. And no cracks. No cracks. So this thing's perfect. We'll get it put together and uh, decide if we want to keep it or sell it. But that's awesome to see. And there it is. Everything worked, looked great. TV looks good on top of it. Got all our target liquidation items that uh, overflow out of the dining room where we list everything just stacked up over there. But yeah, look at that. Clean, awesome looking. So happy with it. Got the PlayStation 3, because I ain't rich, never had a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Got the Nintendo Switch. Girls just got that from Santa Claus for Christmas. There's an Apple TV back there. So, no cables. You can see them in the cabinets, but not in here. Looking fantastic. So happy with it. Got that speaker off the uh, electronics mystery box. Use that to play Pandora or Spotify or whatever. It's feeling great, looking great. Look at that, no cables. Not a single cable. Here, I'll show you what I did. Got all the cables, you know, running from there. And the power cable from here is zip tied together, then taped to the back of the TV. And then down there is a nightmare. It's actually pretty well organized and up off the ground, which is good. It keeps that vent clear. Spin you around, make you sick. There you go. So happy with this. It's perfect, we're keeping it. First time we've ever bought a pallet just for a piece of furniture that we wanted. But worked out.